Well, welcome everybody. It's me, GSD, and today I am playing Faith Chapter 2. Faith Chapter 2 takes place, oh, I guess, after, like, a little after Chapter 1. On September 21st, 1986, two priests arrived at the Martin family home in rural Connecticut to investigate an apparent case of demonic possession. Only two people would leave the house alive. After confronting unspeakable dark entities and narrowly escaping with his life, a young priest descends into a new nightmare. So, that's us. John. John? John Ward? Oh my god, I forget the dude's name already. I feel bad. <laughs> but anyway, this game came out this year, so I think we're a little caught up now. Ch chapter 3 demo came out, so I want to get through this and play Chapter 3 demo. But I feel like this one's going to be a little longer than Chapter 1 was. So this one I might split up into a few videos, maybe 2 or 3, if depending on how long it is. Uh, and I also see that some stuff is coming soon. What could this be? Maybe the hard-ass mode thing, like the flashlight thing and the other thing that was in the first deluxe edition. But anyway, I'm ready to get into Airdorf's next installment. Uh, uh, new game. Warning, we'll reset, save that. Yeah. This is not... This is not me. Wait! This is the other priest! This is Michael's priest. Well, it's me. Good. Looking sharp. The music's already mucked up. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by the our office representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome, Cardinal Gifford. Ah, huh. can I take my book, the good book, with me? I don't think there's anything in here. It's all, like, it looks like I should be taking it, but... This... Day one. Oh, we saw this, didn't we? This is the the kid with the rickets. Here, is there anything here like uh, no? Because our priest is in blue. Was this? Oh God, it's starting to look a lot more like uh, what I remember. Oh yeah, that's definitely him. Three months. He went from that little kid to... Wait, hold on. In three months, he went from happy kid to creepy deaky. Jeez. I'm scared. Oh god, what the hell is this? What are you doing? What? Oh boy. Oh, wait, how did you Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 That's no. I ain't. I ain't. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Why did I think that this would be a good idea? Because it's entertaining and it's fun, I guess. He took his picture. Left the house. He took his one picture of him that's mucked up. Don't. 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 Nothing in here? Wait! The cupboard door's open. What? 
Why is this open? What'd I get? What'd I get? I don't know what that is. What was that? Can't do anything else. My reflection isn't there anymore. Oh, I'm a little... I'm a little worried, y'all. I got something. But I don't know what I got. Huh? 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 Evil is here. There's definitely nothing here, right? Right. I'm sorry that I have to double check, but I just want to... So it's a good thing I came here. Take the good book with you, yo. I thought I saw something pop up there, but... Okay. Uh, that scared me. What are you eating, bro? What you got there? Ew. This is why he was out there. This is not the shack. Is it the shack? It's 2 a.m. Why am I here? What? Notes. Okay. Wait, exit. Resume. This is that circle that we saw before, but we're not in the same forest, are we? Oh no. It clearly wants me to go up. I don't wanna I don't wanna do what it's telling me to do. Let me go this way. Okay, alright, alright, but we saw some hidden shh. So I just wanna make absolutely sure that I'm not missing out on anything because I picked up something as Garcia that I don't know what I picked up now so we gotta go up nothing here can be uh, exorcised right yeah yeah <laughs> don't don't wait no no anytime the deer ran by, he, he was close by, right? I go up. Don't be the rock formation again. Okay, so we clearly need to go that way. That deer scared me. Don't. Don't. Oh. How festive. Get out. What the hell is this? Is that a deer body on the tree? Notice, Aviso. The current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Okay. I can't tell if the map is randomized as... It was before. It seems like it just wants me to follow this path. Oh no. How do you open the door? Don't. Okay, I was worried that you were locking me in here. No. No. Just in case it's trying to trick me with some tomfoolery. Oh! You thought you could get me? Get out of here. No. No. And no. And no. Okay. What does this one say? I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. What? I have to go into mausoleums to save? 
What the what the? Dear disciple, verily, not everyone who who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit the what? You must first conjure his demon, you must then serve his demon, you must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable, return to the saved family tomb whenever you are in need of rest, Gary? What? Enter the spirit house? Don't mess with me, y'all. Why is this so much... Uh, what? Don't, don't, don't. Wait. What is this? They're exercised? Or did evil spirits leave their bodies somewhere else? I'm scared. Three paths have opened. Before, I'm just checking the, uh, the gravestones to see if I can, uh, do this. Let's go right first. Like something's over there. This open? No. Man, I'm... I'm not doing too well with this. <laughs> okay, what does this one say? It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Mary Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40, devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Those are the first, those are the parents of the, the daughter. Bob was a training advisor for the United States Navy and Cindy was a CPA and, more recently, a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12, 1969 in Voluntown? Though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. A public closed casket memorial will be held at Tillingast Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial services will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter, Amy, and twin boys Nate and Jason. They, the boys were the missionaries? What is this? Don't you mess with me, yo. Nobody mess with me. What is that? Definitely. Yes. Hey! Oh, I can't do anything. You are not, uh... Okay. So, in regard to... This is clearly... My man's from the first game, still with that weird swagger. Uh, I wonder... Oh! Oh! Huh, don't you dare! I wonder what the... the canon ending is for this game. For the first game. Cause, in one of them Michael kills us, and in one of them we kill Michael. Stay away. Okay, you're a little too close. Mortis. That classic Mortis. At least it saved it to a place where I could respawn. Yeah, which which ending? Yeah, whatever. What happens if I go back? You're not gonna kill me, are you? Clearly, you're following me. Because there could be like two that I know of. One is the one where we don't shoot uh, the daughter and we uh, shoot what's his face? Michael. I'm a you're a what? I don't know 
where it's gonna spawn from. There's a page down there. Uh, what kind of demon ass demon was that? Bam, bam, and nothing over here. Weird. That tree is so weird. And I can't do that to the tree, right? Or that tree? Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant, not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see the strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big warm smile. Somehow, it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctor's. Her smile was so big, was as big as ever, but somehow, not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Word? This is weird. Was that a baby demon? It looked like it had an umbilical cord it's coming out of its stomach. I fear that... Oh. Did it save when I came in here? Hold on. It saved when I came in here. I didn't need to do this. One eye... on the wall is closed. There's four. So I am considered one of them in here? Uh-oh. Go left. Duh. 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 Come on, y'all. You know I need to find me something to exercise. I guess there's nothing in this yard, which is strange. I feel like there should be something here, and something's gonna come and pop out and scare the crap out of me. Ah! God damn it, no! He's hiding, hiding in the mist! I'm scared that he's gonna hit me. I got it! What the hell was that? <laughs> Alright. That's another one down. Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friends' house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. What? Oh no! Why? Now you gotta make me check. The clearly they've been affected. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Should I go and save again? I don't know if I even- like, I'm so scared I don't know if I'm finishing my thoughts. I don't know if constantly doing this is going to ruin the game for me.
Like, is that a, a certain ending? Up here. Oh no. What is this? Alter? I wonder if this is a maze. Maze. There has to be like a clue to this that I'm. Wait, oh, it's. Wait! Up, left, up, right. The statues? I can't tell if this is. It's moving one way or another. That's clearly up. This is cl clearly left, up, right. Up. Up, left, up, right. So up. Could be down. Up. Left. So maybe it's down. Up, left, down, right. Whoa, what the hell is that? Did you see that? How do I summon this? I did it? I don't remember doing it. Oh, because I did go down and I came back in. I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day, by my body withers away, but by night, my mind explores forbidden realms, forbidden worlds of power and knowledge. Guided by beings of pure darkness, I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First at the top left point and then down. I will lure them into the woods, then I will show them my power. What? Oh no. Desecrated. It's just me left. Whoa, whoa! My reflection. Guys, for the key. It's fine. Jeez. Why could I not? Weird. These statues are a little freaky deaky. So what happens if I leave? Go back to the the safe. All eyes are closed. The Zoth seal has been broken. Wait, no. All eyes are open is what Nazoth says, right? Nope and nope. I didn't even check to see if I could. Clearly no, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I got checked. Where is it leading me? Oh no! 
How about... Oh god, what the hell? Why is the tree alive? This is not good. Oh my god, I'm so scared. One of them. It's one of them. I know it. I don't trust this. It's you! It's you. I'm trying not to go close to, like... Not you. Not you. Then it's you? Oh god, that's so scary. This is- Okay, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I hath not seen her. Children fear her. Wouldn't be a rock or anything like that, right? That's not good. He went up here. This is death. This is clearly a mistake. What? I had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dogs? The children? The thing that took them? It had been five years. I couldn't even find the little graves anymore. I just walked in the field until I found that stupid grinning scarecrow. As I listened to the night wind blowing through the crops, it was like the scarecrow was mocking me. I turned around to go back, and that's when I heard it behind me. Well, it's more like I felt it. I didn't dare turn around. We just stood there, me, the scarecrow, and the doomed child. Finally, I mustered up a tiny bit of courage and turned to look. It immediately fled in the opposite direction, crashing through the rows of corn. I ran too. What little I saw of it drained the blood from my face and made my skin crawl. I say it because whatever I was looking at didn't have a face, just a bloody, gaping hole. That's like... That's like the daughter. Oh, Christ. It's as I was leaving, right? It's not as I come. Oh, I want to cry right now. This is so scary. Will you help me? I don't know how to help you. I'm not going to die out of here, right? I'm just going to go down. Where are you? I can't help you if I can't see you. Oh, wait, it's gonna happen when I'm leaving, isn't it? Oh, I guess not. Turn back! I can't help you. Alright, it's time to enter this, uh, church, I guess? I need a save to happen, though. I think I'm going to confess thy sins. I think I'm- yeah, I'm gonna- ugh, I'm gonna end it here. Let's read this first, and then we'll, uh, close this up right. Day one of our paranormal investigation into the Old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield in secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently, it has to do with someone... It has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme, they told us. Walk the church, room from room to room, and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome! We're gonna try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. 
Absolutely not. Uh, I, but however, I think this is a good time to end this episode here. Because I do think this is going to be a pretty long game. Or at least longer than the first. But anyway, so far so good. Chill up my spine. Definite chill up my spine. So again, thank you everybody. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll be back again with some more. Faith. Chapter 2.